After yesterday's incredible qualifying, there's no doubt we're in for an intense race here in Montreal. And I think we're just about ready to begin. If you want flat out racing, you've come to the right place this weekend, as it's full throttle for 59% of this 2.7 mile circuit, peaking at around 210 miles per hour going into the final chicane. But that speed requires discipline, and there are more than a few close walls here just waiting to punish drivers with a heavy right foot. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo, and Vettel, Stroll, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso and Lando Norris, Ocon, Sainz, Yuki Tsunoda and Gasly, Raikkonen, Latifi, George Russell and Mick Schumacher, Mazepin and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track.
They pick up rubber and bring it home. The Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. Yeah.